In a fight night pick special, a couple of Matt's favorite names in the women's bantamweight division, we have Jessica Rose Clark taking on Switzerland's own Stephanie Egger, and a really interesting mix coming into this fight, because for Egger, a black belt in judo for the longest time, since the dawn of time, and listen, she's really rounded out her skill set. Now, obviously, striking, not her forte, but when it comes to her grappling, she definitely has a great jiu-jitsu base as well. She was a European champion in jiu-jitsu, then went to ADCC Worlds in 2019, losing to Gabby Garcia in overtime by points. How crazy is that? Can you picture that? It's hard to picture Stephanie Egger taking on Gabby Garcia. Mackenzie Dern beat Gabby Garcia. That's true, but still, it's absolutely wild stuff. So for Egger, she makes her UFC debut on incredibly short notice, takes on Tracy Cortez, and really gets beat at her own style. She gets held down for the majority of that fight. Cortez went 3 of 5 on takedown attempts. 9 minutes and 58 seconds of control time. So definitely of concern when you look at Edgar and her future matchups. And her last time out against Shanna Young... Well, she really just turned it back and looked like the fighter that beat King Reyna all those years ago. So, a big win for Stephanie Egger, her last time out. That fight, not that long ago when we think about it, only about four months ago. For Jessica Rose Clark, she's one of the most interesting women in this division because she had so much success when she made her UFC debut. She beats Beck Rawlings, she beats Paige Van Zandt, and then all of a sudden, you're top of mind for a lot of MMA fans. She loses to Jessica I, she loses to Panny Kanzad, and then she has to rebuild things. And for Jessica Rose Clark, she's one of those fighters that's just not overly active. Now recently, in the two fight win streak she's on, she has been active and it's been great to see, but she was one of those fighters you'd see once a year. It's almost like the Great Pumpkin. Is it gonna come back? It does. And for Clark, she gets wins over Sarah Alpar looked amazing in that fight a win over Jocelyn Edwards and the craziest part about her last two fights is I thought Jessica Rose Clark was well-rounded I thought her boxing was the best part of her skill set and then in her last two fights oh so you're a wrestler now it's been really really nice to see that progression out of Clark who now at 34 isn't necessarily the spry chicken in this division she is, but she has made a lot of really nice wholesale improvements to her game. And I think that's going to be the story of this matchup. Because the fighter that Stephanie Egger is, I don't think it's changed that much. I just think her level of competition has fluctuated quite a bit. Because with Tracy Cortez, like, she's a borderline ranked fighter. At least that's the way people speak about her. What division, though? Well, that's the thing. But she is a very, very talented fighter. And then you look at who her next opponent was, Shayna Young. And I know I picked Young in that matchup, but let's be honest. I don't really think Young is in the caliber of fighter that someone like Jessica Rose Clark is. And that's why I think this is a really, really important fight for Edgar. Because this is a chance for her to sort of revamp her career. Maybe that's too strong of a word to use, but that loss against Tracy Cortez was a really bad one. She gets completely outgrappled. She does all right in the stand-up, but she is sort of stiff on the feet, and that always concerns me about her going out there and winning a 15-minute fight or 15 minute fight on the feet, because that's the only one I go down to when I try to break down a fighter striking. It's, okay, how long could they stay on the feet, be comfortable with it, and actually win rounds that way? When I look at Stephanie Egger's game, I don't really think, wow, that's a fighter who's going to go out there and really use her volume a lot to her benefit. But in this matchup against Jessica Rose Clark, it will be interesting to see how she is able to use her range in this fight. Because for Clark, she is a very pressure-heavy fighter. She always was with her boxing. And now that she has added in the wrestling component to her game, it helps her pressure even more. Because, like, we talk about Clay Guida probably too much on this channel, but Clay Guida is a guy who can use his boxing to pressure you back to the cage, or he can use his wrestling to pressure you back to the cage. Jessica Rose Clark is starting to fall into that line where she doesn't just need her big right hand or the jab to be able to get you back moving backwards or up against the cage. Now she can employ her single leg, double leg wrestling. And it's been extremely effective in this last little two fight run. Well, it scares me. If, if Clark decides to wrestle against Edgar, I think she's going to lose this fight. I think that if she decides to strike, Edgar's striking is very wonky and it's the worst part about it for somebody who's such a pure grappler somebody who's so good at judo with those upper body throws to mix in with the jiu-jitsu it is her bread and butter but when edgar's at distance it really is a lot of single shots a lot of walking to crash that distance you're going to struggle against a decent striker and with the pressure of clark she can go in and out dart in on angles and i really do think that if she's going to win that's going to be the way to it again it just it does scare me when you decide to grapple with somebody that's as good as Stephanie Egger. And I get it. Tracy Cortez was able to use her wrestling. But Cortez legs. does fight in a very similar manner to Jessica Rose Clark. That is what I keep on going back to. Because Tracy Cortez, she uses her boxing to set up her wrestling. I understand Jessica Rose Clark might be sort of the opposite side of that. But it is a very similar game plan. That's why I do think uh, Jessica Rose has got a lot of confidence coming into this matchup. Because she can fight in a similar manner to a fighter that gave Egger problems. We 
have a look at the odds for this one. Clark open to minus 235 favorite. She's minus 197 right now for Stephanie Egger. Again, these are based off best fight odds. She opened a plus 200, plus 163. If we have a look at topology for the votes, and they are a surprise to us as they are to you, Matt. I'm going to set the over under 85% Clark. I think it'll be slightly under, but she'll be the favorite. Ooh, look at that. 548 total votes, 86% Clark, 89% by decision for the 14% that have Egger, 68% by decision, 17% by knockout. I have Clark winning this fight by decision. Again, I think her striking is that much better than Edgar's. And I again, it would really scare me if she decides to kind of engage in some of that wrestling, engage in some of that grappling. I think all it's going to do is tire her out and she's going to have issues in that uh, that respect. I think she has the better grappler. I think she has the better cardio in this matchup, though. Like, I really do. I think Jessica Rose Clark can win this fight no matter where she takes it, if I'm being completely honest. I think she has a big advantage on the feet. And I don't think Edgar has the staying power on the mat. I think she has a good submission ability early on in the fight. But I do think that the fight will wear on her as it continues. Like, Jessica Rose Clark's game is, I'm going to break you down with my wrestling. I'm going to break you down with my pressure. And the second you start to get tired, that's really what I'm going to start to put the pressure on. I, I don't know how Egger is it going to keep the distance on the feet or on the mat. I just think it's a really tough matchup for Egger. Hot take. Tony going with Jessica Rose Clark. We both it's are going take. with the fighter out of Australia. Let us know who you have down below in the comment section. Is it the Swiss fighter. We rarely ever say that in the UFC. And Stephanie Edgar, are you going with Jessica Rose Clark? Can't wait for the card coming up this week. And especially the main event, Johnny Walker taking on Jamal Hill. It should be a great one. So keep it locked in with Fight Name Picks. We always say, let's, let's get, get into it. it.